Hi everybody. Um, I'm doing this tutorial because it came to my attention that some of my stuff was not vectorized properly and I'm going through and I'm cleaning it now. And this is one of the files that I had had on the website and I wanted to show you what this other person was talking about on one of the Yahoo groups. Um, if you look down here in the um, Inspiration Pro, it has a W and it shows you wireframe. Um, and if you go up to um, the regular software, if you go up to the image, then you're going to find yours down here for the wireframe. It's not on mine because I have a different program running. Okay. That being said, you also can show your notes. It's called construction points. And the more construction points you have, the more difficult it is to cut um, a project successfully. Now I just re worked on this one here. I haven't worked on the others and I thought well this would be a good project to show you because there's a lot of intimate things, I mean um, tiny little things in it. So detail. So anyway I wanted to show you like this is these are the construction points after I did this one procedure to it and compare that to this one actually it's not as bad as I thought it was but I just wanted to show you what to do. This is the shadow to this particular image here. So what I'm going to do is go up to shape, come down to adva advanced path option and then slide on down to change to Bezier curves and watch the image when I click on this. See how they, it, it, they, you have less of that? Now with this one here um, I have groups. In order to do this properly, you have to break the group and see all this stuff that's going on here. So what I'm going to do is box all this in. I'm going to go back up here, advance path option, come down to change to Bezier uh, curves. And I know it looks like it made more. And if it did, it made them in places where they needed to be. So I'm going to zoom in and you'll see it's not as bad as what it looks like when it's further away. So not too bad. Now these are the corners you have to be really careful with. So I'm going to go and get my replace by segment tool and see if I can knock out one of those nodes. And I did. Do the same thing over here. It just makes a difference when you do it this way. Sometimes you change the design a little bit, but it's worth it if you're going to get a better cut. And this is um, the um, Replace by Arc. So I'm going to click, not unclick, and click, and see it took some of those nodes away. So this is how you clean up a project. And I would suggest when you get things outside um, of the ones that come in the um, the software or the Pazzles craft room, that this might be something you'd want to do. Um, I feel bad that I put some things on the site that um, had this problem, but like I said, somebody brought it to my attention. And so now I'm going through and trying to correct it. And I thought, well, I may as well make a tutorial out of it. So I'm going to group that. I think I did this one already. I want to go in and look at that a little closer. Yeah, the reason it's like that is because it has these little points here. And there's nothing you can do about that because you have to have points um, in order to know where to curve at. So let's look at this one. I'll, yeah, this one's loaded. But before I can do anything, unless it's already ungrouped, let me see. Yeah, this one's already ungrouped. So I'm going to click on the outside, go to Shape, Advanced Path Option. Oh for some reason. It must have clicked off. Wait a minute. Yeah, I clicked off of it. You have to be clicked on in order for that to work. Okay, I've got that clicked on. Shape, Advanced Path Option, Change to the Curves. Yeah. And sometimes what I'll do is do it at more than one time with less on it and you get better results. And I'm going to go in up close. See if there's any more I can do up close. See that's all the little hair things there. So we need them there. There's nothing you can do about that. Okay, so I'm going to click on this one. You can see this is loaded. So to shape, advanced path option, change to Bezier. And 
and that's a lot better. Let's go over text one and break group and click on it and I think I must be on something else because I know this has got to have a lot on it. Unless I know, there they are, I was going to say, I knew that it would have it. So let's go to shape, advanced path option, change the Bezier curves. There, that's much better. Let the rest are okay. Let's do the same thing to her shadow. You can see that one's loaded too. Shape, advanced path option, change to Bezier curves and segments, or to Bezier. Yeah, there you go. So it's not difficult to do. If you have something that, you know, it's just not cutting right, that's something that you might want to look into. I'm just coming in closer. Those aren't as bad as I thought they were. I'm going to try this one. Click, unclick, click. And see it got rid of some of that grouping there. So that's better. And this one here, there's really not a whole lot I can do because you go up close. It's all these lines in here. What I could do though is just take my straight line tool and just straighten these out. See how it made a difference? So click, unclick, click, click, unclick, click, click, unclick. There we go. I, I said that. Said it. I did it right, but I said it wrong. Click, unclick, click, click, unclick, click. I said that one wrong too. I just do it so automatically. Click, unclick, click. Yeah. See, some of these. It's just better sometimes to do them by hand. I'm going to see if I can do a run of just these try it without having to do it all by hand. This is such a wonderful tool to have. Yeah, see, I'm going through all the bother of doing that and I don't have to. I just need to get these grouped. Go to Shape, Advanced. So you no longer have to do all of this stuff by hand to clean things up. I wanted to show you the tool that does it all for you. What's the point in having it? can't use it because you don't know it's there. So that looks better. So now what I can do is just let me check this part here too. I'm not sure. Click on it. Yeah, it, I must have gotten these. I wasn't sure if I grouped those in or not, but I must have. So it gives you an idea um, of ways to make your life a little bit easier. And so when I click off of this, it goes off. Now for those of you who don't have the Pro software, you're probably saying, well, how do I do that? Go to View and see where it says Show, I'm sorry, Construction Points. Uh, right now it's turned off because there's no uh, check next to it. So what I'm going to do is click on it and see it shows up automatically. And then if I don't want it, then I'm going to click off of it. So that's in the regular software. In the Pro software, it's right down here. It's the construction C for construction with the points on it so that you know what it is. So I'm going to box in, and what I'm slowly doing, just so you know, since I found out that I did some of this, because I would never intentionally give you files like this, is I'm saving them right now. I'm cleaning them up. I'm saving them. And then I'm going to take off the ones that I already have on the site and replace them with these. So if you have a, f a file that's not working properly, you could either fix it the way I just showed you, or you can wait until I get it reposted. And I'll let you all know when I do have this reposted again. So I'm signing off for the time being, just letting you know that you too can do this. Um, in fact, I think I might do another lesson on this later, not just with the ones that I already have, but just taking something off of the internet or from another source and showing you how to do this. So I hope this helps.